Do you need help? Or do you have legal questions? Then ask the expert. I'm Anthony Carbone. I've been an attorney in Jersey City for 33 years. An exposure case occurs when um, a person was injured as a result of usually inhaling or ingesting some type of chemical, uh, carbon monoxide, something that uh, wouldn't ordinarily create an injury, but in this situation did. I was mentioning we had a case where a woman was injured at a gym. She was walking in a pool, and as she was walking in a pool, the mechanics at the pool were um, putting chemicals into the pool room. However, the mechanics put the wrong chemicals in the, <clears throat> the wrong tube, and it caused the tubes to explode, and it caused this poor client of ours uh, to, to be, as she was walking in a pool, she got completely bathed in chlorine. Uh, and that chlorine created a pulmonary issue for her. So those are chemical cases. Uh, we have another case uh, that, that we're handling where a client was working at home because now everybody's working at home remotely. And she didn't realize it, but, but she actually uh, was knocked out from uh, exposure to uh, carbon monoxide uh, that was determined to be caught, came from uh, men that were in her attic, that were doing work in her attic, uh, that were using certain tools that, that created this substance to emit because the, the machine that they were using wasn't ventilated properly. What occurred with this case is she, unbeknownst to her, because she just, she was knocked out, uh, the fire department came, knocked on her door, broke in her door, came into her apartment and scooped her out of her, her, her bed. And they were the ones that, that saved her. And it was fortunately because the, the detector that she had in her house notified the fire department. So those are different types of exposure cases that we look at and those are type, different types of cases that we have and that we think are, are viable cases. Thank you for watching these videos. I hope I, I gave you some insight on personal injury law, what a lawyer can do for you, what we can do for you. What we want you to know is that we're open and we're here for you to help you with your legal problems. If you need a lawyer, call us, we're here.